My name is Sean Steed. I'm with the University of Florida Institute of Food and Agricultural Science Extension, Hillsborough County. Today we're going to talk about solarization of soil, heating of soil to recycle it back so you can reuse it. Here we've got a model of a recycling soil solarization area and it was mainly developed for the commercial nursery industry where they're dumping used potting soil into a big pile and it was previously it was waste. Now with this method we can recycle that soil back into production. This, what this is going to do is this plastic is going to trap the sun's light and turn it into heat and it's going to raise the temperature of the soil to cook all the bad organisms in there like fungus, bacteria, weed seeds and it'll sterilize it to where you can reuse it. You're going to need a top sheet of plastic separated from another sheet of plastic by about four to six inches. This top sheet really retains the heat and makes the system operate more effectively. Underneath the top sheet, we have our brace to hold it up. If we remove that, you can see our bottom sheet, which is flush against the soil. Underneath this sheet, here's our potting soil that we're trying to sterilize. If you're gonna try this at home, you wanna wet this soil, not to soaking wet, but just damp enough to make sure it's moist. That'll make sure that the heat will move through the soil profile. Also, you don't want this soil to be too thick. And you can see I only have a few inches of soil in there. Three inches or less is gonna work the most effective. Any larger than three inches, it takes much longer for the heat to go down and penetrate and you start losing the effective killing of that heat temperature. If you've got container gardens at home or you've got old pots of soil or dead plants, instead of throwing them out and buying new soil, you can use this method to recycle that soil. What this will do is it'll sterilize all that soil with about 140 degrees temperature and it'll kill all your pest organisms, nematodes, fungus, bacteria, uh, weed seeds, and you can use this, uh, you can dump your container soil in here, you can build a small area, or if you can't do it uh, with potted soil, you can use this in your garden. This can go right over, you can lay this plastic right over your garden at home. Make sure it's wrapped and sealed at the edges into the soil. Lay, lay something above it to keep the second sheet from touching this bottom sheet. You want an air space between these two plastics. After you do that, you want to wrap it tight, keep the edges down, and this will cook a few inches of soil, so it'll sterilize it like you've just put in new potting soil. If you leave it for a long time, you'll get a better kill on your pest organisms if you're using it in the ground. If you're using potting soil and you built something like this, say for your pots or your container soil, this will cook it within a day or two. And you can check that by using a soil thermometer. You want at least 140 degrees Fahrenheit for one hour to kill all those pest organisms. The longer you leave this in, the more effective it's going to be and the broader scope of pests that you'll kill. Even though this was a method developed for the nursery industry to help them save potting soil, it can be very effective for the home gardener. You can reuse those old pots and those containers of soil, or you can use the soil in your garden and make it fresh again using solarization. These two pieces of plastic and a little bit of time will save you a lot of money in buying fresh soil. If you have any further questions, you can contact us at the Hillsborough County Extension Office. Please feel free to check out our website or call our number, and you can also drop by for a consultation.